<clears throat> Hi all, thank you very much for joining. Um, it's been a while since I've done a haul. Uh, it's the, the latter half of this year. Um, I haven't been collecting uh, as much. as I've just had, have, had other priorities. Um, nevertheless, uh, I've got a pretty decent stack. Uh, things that uh, I purchased as a matter of pri priority. Um, I guess I'll start with the sort of continuing new releases, uh, of which there is only one. Um, yeah, and that is uh, something that everybody's picking up pretty much. Uh, volume 8 of the Berserk Deluxe Editions. Uh, it's not going to fit in the full frame, but it's fine. You kind of get the idea. Uh, I still need to pick up Volume 3 of Blade of the Immortal, which is out um but yeah um glad to be continuing these uh i believe there's going to be about 12 or 13 of these in total until it comes to its uh inevitable um early conclusion um still no word of whether or not uh studio uh, studio gaga i think it's called uh i don't know them kentaro miura's studio anyway the, the 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 ones the you know the talented team who were uh, you know were responsible for most of the artwork um still no word on whether or not they will continue the series but um i i, I doubt it's likely in all honesty uh, so that'd be sad to see this end um now uh the next what i picked up was uh from a recent restock uh, i'm really 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 glad this got re this got reprinted uh, as i only ever had volume one um and that is uh I am a hero. So here's volume two. Uh, I guess I'll just kind of put them on their side there. Got the quite nice spines as well. Uh, volume three. Volume four. Volume five. Sorry for the glare. And I'll show these both at the same time. Uh, volume six and seven. So that's everything that I have of I am hero. I am a hero now. Only four more volumes until uh, until I have the whole set. But really glad again that Dark Horse decided to reprint these, uh, as Dark Horse are notoriously bad at keeping things in print. So eleven volumes in total, um, and I'll be really happy to complete this. That was one of the ones that was a priority buy for me as soon as I saw them come in stock, because it's been rumoured for the longest of time that. Um, it was it was to be getting reprinted and uh, uh, it's even more difficult to to get things in Europe uh, and even even more difficult to get things in Britain due to Brexit. So um, we're really sh suffering the manga shortages. We really just get the scraps of, uh, of 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 what gets left over from everything that's sold in America and then everything that's sold in Europe, mainland Europe rather. At least that's how I speculate it works. Um, we're very much last on the priority list. Uh, anyway, uh, carrying on. Uh, a lot of the things that I got over this over these past couple of months have uh, been out of print things that I've just managed to pick up. Um, you know, from finding them. Um, you know, getting lucky. Uh, and the next thing is Old Boy, Volume Four and Five. I only have Volume One, but I read Volume One a couple of months ago, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoy the uh, the live action movie. Um, and there's only eight of these, so uh, I need about, I need five more to complete the set. Um, I've ordered volume two, so that should be arriving next week. Uh, so I'll be halfway there finished. Um, volume three, unfortunately, is quite expensive, but it's just one of those ones that I'll pick up as and when. Uh, I mean, these are brand new copies, as you can see, they're still sealed. So uh, I've gone for retail price. So I was really happy to pick these up at my local comic book shop. Uh, next. Um, is uh, Call of Rage by uh, Kazuo Koike and uh, Seisaku Kano. Um, Kazuo Koike of uh, Lone Wolf and Cub fame, um, the writer of that series. I expected this to be bigger, actually. Um, I've seen it in other people's collections for years and years and years and, and just assumed it was a, an oversized volume, but I guess my assumptions was wrong. But there you go. You can, I guess you can just pause it on the, uh, the blurb on the back there. Apparently, this isn't supposed to be very good. I've heard pretty bad reviews of this. Um, nevertheless, it's something that, uh, you know, it's just quintessential Gekka, so, you know, I'm glad to have it in my collection. Uh, 
Uh, next, something I picked up along with um, with Old Boy, uh, and that's uh, Dominion by Shiro Masamune of uh, Ghost in the Shell and Appleseed fame. So this is just uh, another one of those older Dark Horse print runs of of uh, his one shots. Um, there's also a second volume of this, I believe. I'm, I don't know if this is the second volume or or if there's or if there's a prequel volume to this, but uh, that one's pretty pretty hard to find. But this one again, I picked up at retail price. It's more or less brand new. Um, I was really happy to uh, to own this. Um, this is like before Shiro Masamune basically just started drawing porn. Um, so. Yeah, just another one of these sort of like, you know, um, futuristic, um, cyberpunk, you know, mecha cops sort of series. So I'm looking forward to reading it as and when, um, you know, it was just one of those ones that I picked up on a whim just because it was, it was there. So there you go. Uh, another Sama Tezuka um, record of the Glass Castle. Uh, this was an absolute nightmare to get my hands on. Um, three of my orders got cancelled. No, in fact, two of my orders got cancelled, and I uh, um, I got lucky on the third because uh, I ordered it from Book Depository instead of Amazon. So slowly picking up anything that uh, is re-released from these um, digital manga publishing volumes. Um, we're also due to be getting Clockwork, Apple, The Creator, and uh, I think there's another one couple more coming out um, or at least they've been solicited so uh, and the creator is a big thick volume so I'm looking forward to that uh, wonder 3 which is already out is very hard to come by um, but yeah they're just just more things to add to my Tezuka collection uh, another one uh, this one took a while to come out uh, Demper release uh, that's a Lil Leo by Moto Hagio uh, this was an author by um, I'm, I'm a really big fan of Moto Hagio um, at least what I've read of her so far, which was uh, which is Otherworld Barbara and uh, A Drunken Dream and other stories. Um, big fan of both of those titles. Um, I, read, I, I actually really I actually need to reread A Drunken Dream and other stories as it's been years since I've read it. But um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'll be looking forward to that in due course. Uh, it has actually been reprinted, so I'm happy about that. But nevertheless, I'm I'm happy to own this. Uh, this is one of those sort of like soft cover, hard cover sort of. Um, you know, it's like a, a, a fusion between the two, or a mixture between the two. So it's it, it's soft cover, but it's like really, really high quality. Uh, similar similar to the ping pong releases by Tai Matsumoto from Viz. Uh, so I'm happy to have another another Denpa manga in my collection, especially one of such high quality and from such a renowned author. Um, here's one from Fanfare Ponentmon. This is uh, the latest Jiro Tanaguchi work that came out, um, I believe last year or year before maybe, and uh, that's Skyhawk, um, another high quality release from Fanfare Ponentmon. Always happy to pick these up, and I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Jiro Tanaguchi. Again, it's uh, um, an author by, cover by, uh, publisher by. You know, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Fanfare Ponentmon, um, particularly the manga releases. Uh, so. Yeah, happy to own this. Uh, I've heard it's not as great as uh, his other titles, but you know, uh, so that, I'm not too bothered. Um, I always, I always enjoy reading something by Jiro Taniguchi, and I've got a couple of his other series to read already. I've got um, some of the gods and Ferrari, and a journal of my father, um, and now this that I uh, that I have to read. So that's that. And something that I've neglected to pick up for many, many years, and I thankfully came across a good deal on eBay, uh, and that is uh, A Drifting Life by uh, Yoshihiro Tatsumi, the godfather of Gekiga Manga, and this is his biography. Um, a very, very, very thick volume and, and a very early release from Drawn and Quarterly. Um, there's also Fallen Words that was released around the same time as this that uh, is also out of print. Um, difficult to come by it's not necessarily difficult to come by it's just it's difficult to come by for a reasonable price and in good condition like you can pick it up for a reasonable price but the the condition of the volumes are just just terrible so um you know i i, I like to be able to pick things up in in relatively good condition uh, and uh, this one although the pages are a little bit yellowed it's uh you know 
for the age of it. I mean, I think this was released in 2009 or something, and the condition is good. You know, the, the, the spine is in immaculate condition, so I'm happy with it. And uh, finally, um, this is something I picked up just because they were really cheap. Um, whether or not I'll be able to complete them is another story, but um, I picked up four volumes of Samurai Executioner um, in the very tiny little singles. Um, all brand new, um, still in the cellophane wrapping. So I'm happy to own these. I mean, I, th I believe this is only a 10 volume long series, so um, maybe I'll be able to pick up some of the other volumes, I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be trying to pick up the Lone Wolf and Cub volumes as there's 28 of those and that's just too much of a commitment. But uh, these were only £3 each, as you can see. Um, they're just in uh, the, the reduced bin in my local comic book shop. So, yeah, I'm really happy to own these. Uh, volume 2, 4, 5 and 6. And uh, by the same authors, or the same author and artist duo as Lone Wolf and Cub. Those being Gaseki Kojima and uh, Kazuo Koike. Um, in the same lot, I also picked up a couple of volumes of Path of the Assassin. So there's volume 8, uh, volume 12, volume 13. Uh, oh, these aren't in order. Volume 7, volume 6. Kind of going backwards here. Volume 5 and Volume 3. As you can see, they're all brand new. Got them all for £3. So all of these, I think there's 11 in total, including the Samurai Executioner volumes, uh, it's £33. Cannot go wrong at all. Again, whether or not I'll keep these is, is, is another story. As Path of the Assassin, I believe these were released in 15 volumes. Uh, so considering I only have seven of them, um, you know, I, I don't know whether or not I'll be able to pick up the, pick up the rest of the eight, um, unless I just you know come across them by uh, by chance, uh, like I did with these. So uh, there you go. That's uh, everything I picked up over the course of the last couple of months. Um, I think some of these are. I think some of these purchases were from, were from August uh, as well. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, with the uh, with these volumes and the Samurai Executioner volumes, I may be selling them um, in due course. I really don't know. I'm just going to hold on to them to see whether or not, uh, you know, to, just to kind of check the feasibility of being able to pick up the rest of them. Um, if, if it's too difficult, then then I'll probably, probably end up selling them. Um, but yeah, um, do all the usual stuff. Like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter um, as you get to kind of see updates of what I'm reading and my own personal thoughts on series. And um, I'll see you for the next one, whenever that may be.